so um, I didn't really tell, I didn't share this on online on like YouTube, um, but I had a little incident with my apartment building, turning around the corner. It's a very, very tight, thin corner, um, very narrow, hard to get out of at my apartment building. Um, so when I was driving my new car for the first time at night, um, and it was the first time at night exiting my this apartment building, because I just moved into the building, I just bought the car, um, and there's not very much lighting there, I scratched the side of my car. So let me share. Hey! So this is the damage. It's all rusty along here and rusty along there, which is bad. Um, and then there are some scratches along the door and up along here. It seems like it's really long, although I swear the noise didn't last that long. That probably shouldn't be too hard. It's more the rust that I'm worried about. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get that fixed. Alright, so let me explain it a little bit better. So I was pulling out of my... Um, hey, Stitch! I was pulling out of my parking lot for the first time ever at night in the new car at the new apartment building and you can't see the corner very well and it's a tight corner so I scratched the rear quarter panel on my car just the back nearby the tire you know um and I have never had like a nice new car so I was really upset about it and I've never had like full comprehensive insurance either so I didn't know that insurance can um pay something towards it. So I've just had the scratch ever since October. I haven't done anything about it. Meanwhile, it's been rusting away. And um, today I thought maybe I'd go to an auto shop and get an estimate and see if they can do it for like under $500. This is Stitch and his tail in case that's in case you see his tail, that's you Stitch saying hello. He wants some attention because I just got home from work. Um, I'm going to patch you. So I just wanted to get an estimate and um, the guy told me it would be $2,200 to fix it and I thought, holy cow, I don't have that much. Um, and he said if I have insurance I could that covers it, I could maybe have a deductible. Anyways, I never even thought about insurance covering this kind of thing because to me I always thought insurance was if, they, if there's two cars two people are responsible. I never thought if just a single person did something on their own to like a building or scratch a building or a sign that insurance would help with it. I guess all of this is just new to me. Like um, my old car I had for seven years. I bought it. It is noisy outside. I bought it with cash for 2000 bucks, and it had scratches and damages on it initially and then it gathered more scratches <laughs> as I owned it. And it wasn't a big deal because it's an older car. Um, you know, I wasn't bothered by all the external damages and stuff. I just needed it to help get me from point A to point B, you know. So it's new having this new car. This is the first time I've ever dealt with insurance, trying to um, have them help me out with making a claim. Stitch, your tail is getting in the way. Um, all of it's just new. Anyway, so today I got the estimate and then I called my insurance to see if they could kick in anything or provide any coverage. They said yes, so then they opened a claim and then I got all these calls from the auto shop saying they can take me in tomorrow morning and then I got a call from Enterprise because I do have car rental um, coverage, you know, so I can rent a car. Um, so I'm going to pick up my car from Enterprise tomorrow morning, and this is all happening really fast. It's kind of stressing me out because these things, I need time to process and prepare and get ready and acknowledge because I get so anxious and stressed out. Um, the good news is that the auto shop and Enterprise are right next to each other, so I can just walk from one place to the next very easily, but... I don't know, I've been stressed out ever since I went to get the estimate and dealt with my insurance company, so it's been a couple hours now. I actually am not hungry for dinner. I wasn't hungry for lunch. My mind, it just twirls and whirls and gets really fast, and I feel like I get a headache, and I get nervous, and I get sweaty, and it's going to be hard to sleep tonight. I'm not hungry. I know I just need to calm down. morning. It's Tuesday morning. I don't know what to do about my hair. <laughs> I just took a shower last night and um, usually when I take a shower and then air dry my hair in the evening, it gets this kind of weird 
texture to it. Anyways, um, today's the day that I'm taking my car to the um, auto shop and I'm really nervous to be quite honest. I'm really nervous. I woke up a lot last night. It took me a long time to fall asleep. I woke up throughout the night and I've just been really, really nervous. I'm at Enterprise. You can't see their title, but um, yeah, so I dropped off my car at the auto place. It went okay. They're very nice and formal, good manners. And that was actually pretty quick inside the Enterprise. Like, it was just really fast. He took my license, my credit card, and now some girl's gonna pull the car around. Hopefully soon. This is a lot. Jesus, what did I get myself into? They gave me a truck. They gave me a truck. I've never driven a truck. This was complete and utter panic time. Not good. The, the gas, the brake, everything is different. It's big. It has like a cab. I don't know how to look. I can't check my blind spot. How do you check your blind spot in like a truck? I, I had to get on the highway and then I was driving these surface streets and then I had to park in this tight spot. I blocked, I, I'm sorry Honda person. I. I did a bad parking job, but holy cow, why did they give me a truck? They said they were all out of, like, the other cars. Like, they didn't have any Civics or Accords or anything normal size, like a little, you know, a smaller car. So they gave me a free upgrade to this truck that I don't know how to drive, and I don't know what I'm doing with it, and I'm clearly uncomfortable, and I don't want it. <laughs> Maybe I can go back and have them switch it out. I am not comfortable. There's no way I can get in and out of my apartment complex with this big car, like the driving it and parking at work is just stressful. I don't know, maybe I can exchange it. I'm hey, I am at work right now and well, you can probably see the nice ocean view. Let's open my blinds. I always keep my um, blinds closed because the sun is just too much. The sun is too much for me. Can you see the ocean out there? Very pretty, very nice day. It's actually, um supposed to be like 75 today or so. We don't really have winters here. Anyways, um, yeah, so I completely was panicking about that car. I know a lot of people would be fine with trucks, but for me, it's just too much. It's, oh, I was having a difficult time adjusting, you could say, to put it nicely. Um, so I called Enterprise back and I asked them, is there any chance I can switch to like a, a normal car, like a compact car or a full-size sedan? sedan, sedan, which is what my reservation was for, and the guy said, um, as long as I'm okay waiting till this afternoon, he can see what gets returned and then call me, and he'll put a car aside for me, <laughs> so thank goodness, I feel so relieved, I mean, I still have to go deal with that, like turn in the truck and then get another car, but I think it'll be a lot easier for me to drive and to park. Well, I decided to come out on my lunch break and just play with the rental car. I'm going to return it then to today and get a smaller car. It actually doesn't look that bad now that I'm looking at it normally, but I feel like when I was driving it this morning, I was like in pure panic mode because I was not expecting it. But looking at it now, it's not that bad and I didn't do a god awful parking job, although it's not my best. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know who Civic that is, but anyways, um, it's an okay parking job. It just it isn't that huge now that I look at it for me. Well, uh, you know, when it's a car you weren't expecting and you've never driven a truck, even if it is a mid-sized truck, um, still a little scary. I'm returning this car, getting rid of this. It's actually not that awful to drive, even though the engine's kind of loud. Um, and it's a lot more like when I press on the gas. Um, but it's it's a pain to park and to reverse. It's definitely longer than my normal car. So check out my new ride. It's a Hyundai. Yay! And it drives nicely. It looks so different. Everything's very like curvy. Like the windshield. I feel like the windshield is actually really small and at an extreme angle. Anyways, it's just different, but it's way nicer. It's better than <laughs> what I had before. And the brake is down there, by the way. So, um, let's see. I don't know what type of, like, what the model number is. Um, I know it's newer. It has that EcoBoost button, like my car has an EcoBoost. Um, <laughs> 
Let's see. Oh, Sonata. That's what it is. It's a Hyundai Sonata. Some neighbors were looking at me like I'm a nutball. Those are the people who smoke cigarettes. It's this Asian couple that smoke cigarettes and leave cigarette butts outside all the time and make a big mess, which I really don't like. But anyways, hallelujah. I've got this. Oh, wow, well, that's neat. It shows that my door is open right now. Um, I'm glad that I've got this car. It's a lot more manageable, a lot easier for me to drive. <laughs> Yay. Um, what a long day. I'm, I'm tired. It's time to go home and feed Stitch and, and take it easy in my Hyundai. Mm -hmm.